What is going on guys, my name is Avi and this is Garage Test Tech. On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remove your fender panel from a Nissan Sentra. This should work on most models. Now, keep in mind this car was in an accident and this will make uh, the fender removal process easier. In your case, you will, not, you will need to remove um, the bumper to be able to get access uh, to the fender panel bolts. So let's get to work. If you see down here uh, on the back of the fender on the bottom, between the fender and the door, there will be a, a bolt, 10 uh, millimeter bolt. You can remove that. And if we move to the front side of the fender, there will be two more bolts. Now, if you see here, there's a few broken tabs from the bumper that was installed on this car before the accident. So these parts, they are still hanging out there. So we remove these two bolts and then we'll make our way up to the top of the fender and on the top of the fender you will see three more bolts two will be on cover and the other one will be all the way on the back hiding under a plastic trim cover so we're gonna remove this one here all right that's one on the bot on the back there will be one more and we will make back to the top of the fender where we will find a um, plastic trim. Now we have to remove the trim to be able to have access to the bolt. 10 millimeter bolt that will be on the bottom of the trim. There you go. Let's put this to the side. And if you see there, the bolt is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. And now we are almost done with this. Once we remove this bolt, we still have a, a little trim that we have to remove, which is this trim right here. It will be um, the front side of the fender where you can find another 10 millimeter bolt. And that's pretty much all for this fender. Once we remove the trim, you will have access. Okay, now that we are on the process of removing this bolt, okay, there you go. Now we can go ahead and give the fender a good pull. This fender is glued to the car uh, frame, so it, you might need to use some elbow grease to be able to remove it, since it's a strong um, car glue. All right, there you go. So that's pretty much all for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and i'll catch you guys in the next video by the way i'll leave a link on the description to where you can get some of these parts if you're interested in buying some of these parts for the car and i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night and i'll see you guys later